Hello Libra, we're getting started with your reading. So let's take a look and see what's going on for Libra and love. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Six of Pentacles. Lovely. What you can give to the relationship, what your partner can give, or your person of interest can give to the relationship. The overall energy that you're bringing in at this time is the Page of Wands. Playful, playful energy, kind of sexy, flirty energy, having some fun, not taking anything too seriously, Libra. Your person's energy coming in, Nine of Pentacles. They are coming in as a highly desirable single person who's very serious about their career, who lives a good life, who is highly desirable on the dating scene, single, ready to mingle. Everybody wants this person and they're coming in as a powerhouse. Interesting energy. The likely actions that you would want to take during this week is the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups energy is really keeping your options open. You know, you're not looking especially uh, for a serious, big, serious, dramatic commitment at this moment. Your person's energy in terms of what they might like to do is the Knight of Wands. Ooh, they're feeling really pumped up. They are super attracted to you, Libra. The Knight of Wands can be, it's in and out energy. The Knights are not sticking around. But since this person is coming in as a Nine of Pentacles, they are a person who wants stability, who wants to be grounded, but they do enjoy their singlehood. They're very successful single people. Now, Seven of Cups for you is is so funny because you're like yeah I'm just having fun over here well, I'll give both of you will give to a relationship that really you feel warrants your interest okay so the energy that is hidden between the two of you is the energy of the Queen of Cups okay so secretly you both want love all right and then the outcome that's likely this week is a nine of wands okay so it looks like both of you have a lot of responsibilities there's something you both have fire in your belly for the relationship but you may not have a lot of time to spend with each other we see a mother here sort of like lamenting the fact that there are two children arguing so it looks like there's some strife around you it could be a work burden it could be a family just feeling like other things have got your attention other than the time you can spend with one another but we're going to clarify as we always do we like to do that so let's see why you're feeling that you would invest what is your feeling of maybe wanting to give to this relationship both of you are looking in a very honest upright way for a significant relationship okay so both of you are in that energy. Why are you in this energy? And then we'll look at why your person's in this energy. Okay, eight of coins. You're very, you want someone that you can really get to know well. You, this is Virgo energy. You want someone that you can take your time, who's not going to rush. Before you make an investment in a relationship, you want to know what you're getting into. You want to get to know them, get to know all about them. What they're bringing into the relationship energy. So they're bringing in some sadness from an old wound. So they're in a very different place. They are projecting, though, this very successful energy while you're, you're very playful. So tell us more about why, why you're being playful. Why are you projecting the energy of being playful, my Libra friends? Three of Swords, okay. Eight of Swords. Okay, you may see this person as unavailable. Ten of Swords. Okay, so you find them attractive, but it looks as though you still think they're hung up on somebody else, and you're actually right about that. So we're seeing you being very limited in your investment. You're not going to really take a lot of action. The Ten of Swords says that you know, that you, you're not going to put yourself in a third party situation. But remember, a third party situation doesn't have to be somebody who's married, it can be somebody who's still emotionally not ready. It can be somebody who has a lot of responsibilities. You know, it can be somebody who has children that, you know, they don't really have a lot of time. So I'm seeing you as being playful, being energetic, keeping your options open, not so much 
willing to just give without really knowing what you're in for. And right now, you don't feel this person is really ready. I'm seeing you as being more stable. Let's see what your mental outlook is here for yourself. Two of coins, you refuse to be juggled. Father of wands, you have mastery over your emotions. You're in a leadership situation. Nine of wands, you're willing to do the work. Okay, so I see you, to confirm what I said first, you don't, the reason you're coming in with playful energy is that you are not ready because you don't think they're ready. Now, are you ready to have relationship? Yes, you're really what, ready to invest and get to know them. Okay. So let's see their energy. Why are they bringing in this very successful energy? Emperor card. Okay. The emperor means your person likes to be the one in charge. Okay. They like to be a leader. They're probably very successful in their career. We get the six of swords. They want to move out of a time of sadness. You know, we see them very sad here. Six of swords. Okay. Okay. We also get the Fool card. So they're coming in much more seriously to this than you are. Let's see how they perceive you. What do they perceive your availability? Now, for someone, not all, the two of you have, may have had some sort of falling out in which a person owes you an apology. It looks like they're coming in to give it. So if that's your storyline, but I see this as kind of new relationship. Okay. At the very minimum, if you are coming back together with Six of Cups energy, which is hidden here, it looks like you've been in separation for a while. Okay, so your person's coming in. They want a new beginning. They want to move things forward. Let's see, Eight of Cups. Yeah, okay. So this looks like it is a breakup and a makeup between the two of you. It looks like this really has sent your person over the edge. They may, the third party may have been children or, you know, responsibilities or job or workaholism. But your person is coming in trying to figure out how to make amends for maybe having walked away or told you that they were too busy. Yep, we have the Nine of Cups, though. So both of you really want to eat, drink, be merry, have fun. You're both in a very powerful energy for that. So what's the energy here? You are keeping your options open. So what is that about for you? You are invested. This person is somebody that you feel is a happy place for you. But you're keeping your options open because you are not going to throw caution to the winds. So you're giving the appearance of being very carefree, but you're actually not carefree. You actually want something very serious from this person, but your trust has been shattered here. You know, you really feel as though you've had to deal with a lot of grief from this person in the situation, at least, if not them directly. Let's see what the clarifiers are for what the, what actions they want to take with you. Well, we get this fell out upright onto the floor. They want to become lovers with you again. They want to make that choice. But they are coming in with this sort of in and out energy. Very non-committal. You have to be careful here, Libra. Okay, temperance card. Yeah, there's reconciliation. Okay. So that explains a lot about this energy. <laughs> All right. So what is it? What else do we need to know? The Ace of Wands. So they're going to be very forthright. Your person absolutely, hands down, wants to come in back into the relationship full force where you're really feeling very kind of reluctant, skeptical. But you are in it to win it. You really are. They owe you an apology, though. Why do they owe you an apology? Let's look at that energy. Why does your person owe you an apology? Daughter of Swords. Page of Swords. They might have been spying on you. They might have drawn some conclusions or said something about social media to you. The Son of Wands. Oh, here we get it again. Okay, so in other words, what I'm actually getting is a bit of the reverse. You may have found a social post 
that indicated that they were flirting because we get player energy, player energy. When we look at the energy up here, Libra, that is underlying your sort of willingness to have fire in your belly, but you're not going to be juggled. But it looks as though, Libra, you may have walked away from them. Three of Swords, not taking action. Ten of Wands, not carrying the burden. Okay, so it's really clear that you have a very strong stance here in terms of what you'll tolerate. Hey, you are the Libra Queen. You are fair and just, and you expect the same of other people. So I get that this person owes you a big apology, but they're coming in with this player energy. I don't like that. They like being single. They like being the boss. They like being large and in charge. Aries energy when we get the emperor. You know, the emperor is a good card. I mean, it's divine masculine, but it is also the energy of somebody who expects to run the show. It can be very controlling energy. And when we get that father of swords, we see somebody who can be a bit cold. You know, we see somebody who can be very intellectual, very aloof, very analytical, and not really in their heart space. Aries energy is very much a fiery, sexy energy. So is the Knight of Wands. I'm making a mess here. So is the Knight of Wands energy. Okay, so now let's look at the energy here that we have for both of you in terms of the Queen of Cups. So both of you, what's hidden here is you love each other. You love each other. You have very tender, sweet feelings towards each other. Oh, great. Okay. So that means that it's a bit of a mess because the cards fell out. And I have about 15 to 20 cards on the ground. And what it means is this relationship is a hot mess at the moment. And you are just not going to take this person seriously while you go through this process of figuring out what they're going to do. So, the hot mess that flipped up here says that you have been put in competitive situations. You are not fully healed yet from them. You're feeling, you're not feeling defensive anymore. You do still love them and you want a new beginning, but you don't really have the clarity you need to go to the next level. And right now, there is a real lack of trust here on your part, Libra. So you're just still feeling that like they could leave you in the cold and you're you're not into that energy at all. So let's look and see what their energy is in terms of this love that they have for you. So let's see what we have here. What is the love that what is this energy around the love that your person has for you, Libra? Ten of Coins, they want a legacy, long-term, committed relationship with you specifically. Not anybody else, but with you they want it. They want to go from the Nine of Coins to the Ten of Coins with you. The Eight of Coins says that they're willing to do the work, they're willing to learn. Because you're in this Eight of Coins energy, they know that they have to backtrack and they have to prove themselves to you to, to level up with you. Here we have the nine of coins. So we have the eight, nine, and ten of coins right in a row, Virgo energy. Your person's willing to do the work to show that they love you. What else do we need to know? Ugh, six of cups is reversed. So the six of cups energy is all about a reconciliation or a reunion. And why is the six of cups reversed? Mother of Pentacles. Okay. So sometimes they don't feel like they can give you the time that they need to give you because of their other responsibilities. The Mother of Pentacles is a career woman who loves to have a beautiful home, yada, yada, yada. But what we're seeing here is that your person thinks that you they just might not be able to level up to your expectations. They feel as though their responsibilities are tremendous, but they're holding back. They're not really telling you. They're fearful, though. The Three of Coins is saying that they want to be collaborative with you. They want to try to work with you. The Wheel of Fortune is hoping that they simply get lucky with you. One more card, please. The Judgment card. They know that this is their last choice or chance. That if they don't make the right choices, if they don't do the right things, that you're going to walk, you're going to release them. That their karmic reality in the relationship is they have not really been where they need to be with you. Now, the Nine of Wands says that both of you have fire in your belly, but this is, there's a lot of old sort of difficult burdens here that both of you are willing to deal with and to carry. What is this about? Is your outcome 
for this week, the death card. So you both have to deal with the burden that you had a breakup. We get the Ace of Coins. The offers that you're making one another at this time are not really as solid as they need to be. You're both keeping your options open. You're really not making this choice. Seven of Cups. Both of you are still in this sort of very confused energy of not knowing what to do or where to go. The Chariot card, though, says that the Emperor is going to ride in. Uh, this is a Queen of Wands energy to try to save the day, try to boss up, try to take a leadership role to get both of you back into that energy of the Ten of Cups. Now, in the past, you have not had this energy. So what I'm seeing is this player energy, this person that you're dealing with, Libra, looks like they want to come in and offer something that they've never offered before. I'm still worried, though, about that energy of their actions. So I think you have to be really careful, Libra. I don't think you can just take this person at their word. You know, judge them by their actions. Oops. Do I need to? So oops, a daisy. Scoot this up. Okay. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay. So let's see what the destiny is that you're seeking in this situation, Libra. What's the destiny you're seeking? A narrow pathway tread thoughtfully doesn't that speak to the opening energy you're going to maintain a playful energy you're not going to get so serious you're going to get to know the situation and figure it out before you jump in you are treading lightly what is your person doing over here in this we have faraway places get ready for new horizons so your person is already because they have had player energy they are in this energy that in terms of like well if this doesn't work out then you know they'll go to you know they'll go hunt for somebody else so I don't like that energy so much. I have to tell you that. That doesn't please me. So let's look and see what the three energy cards are that your person has from Fairy of the Heart of Fairy Oracle. Let's see. They see you as a blessing. They do see themselves as really extraordinary. And... They feel as though they're among ordinary kin. But that's very emperor energy. That's so much like, well, I'm large and in charge. So they see themselves as very exceptional. There's a little bit of cockiness here that I do not like. All right, you can tell me in the comments. Tell me where you're from, where you're watching the video from also. I love that. They see you as a rare gift, though. They do see you as a person who is very very fixated though very much on the darkness that they brought into the relationship it's sort of like they see you as like player energy one of many you can get a player anywhere in the dating world so that's how they see you looking at them let me clarify that that's how they see you looking at them they feel like the rare bird that's so beautiful and so exceptional but they do feel that you have a gift but they don't think that you really appreciate them like the ingenious wonderful person they see themselves as they see themselves as the queen of owls so you might be dealing with somebody who has some real tendencies really strong tendencies to be focused on themselves really i'm not happy with this the lord of the forest though says that they are grounded enough they have some real virgo energy but the shadow of the past they have a past so right now libra i'm seeing that the exact energy that you were in at the beginning of this have fun you know see where it can go but i really think that you're in the right energy the shadows of the past with this person are haunting the relationship so i would just say you have to really be in a cautious state of mind i think that you entered this situation being very much keeping your options open not really met ready to make a choice just being playful and kind of sexy i think that's where you're going to leave it so libra let me know what you think below it's been a joy thank you so much Bye bye